Hello. Tonight on Probe, we are tackling what is perhaps the last taboo. You can call it joining the heavenly choir, passing over or passing away, but however you describe it, death is the one thing we can all live without. We should be asking questions like, is death fatal? And are some people more susceptible to death than others? But first, our camera team sends us reports from funerals in different parts of Britain. First, from Scotland. We now commit this body to the earth whence it came. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Amen. It is sad to lose a father, sir. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, uh, that's true. Was everything uh, quite satisfactory? Oh, great. You mean from your point of view? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and you were quite happy with the arrangements? Oh, yes, uh, I, I did mean to ask you, do you, do you take a drink? Oh, to be quite honest, sir, yes, I do. Then let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> Next, from a country churchyard in the West Country. Your dog. Very fond of the wife, was he? Fond of her? He's the one what savaged her to death. <laughs> oh, God. And are all those men following behind her relatives? No, they all want to buy the dog. <laughs> Although in recent years people have gone overboard on cremation, it can't equal the real thing. Admiral Percival's lifelong passion had always been the sea. During the war, he saw active service in the North Atlantic. And subsequently, in peace, he did several terms of duty <laughs> in many far-flung locations. Even in retirement, his love of the sea remained undiminished. And he was a guiding light in the Portsmouth Model Boating Association. It is with this in mind that we now commit his body to the sea. <laughs> 